Hey, AJ, 911, I need some help. Hey, what's up, Dr. Mike? You know we're always here for you. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. Well, you know, I've, I've got this composite material. It has to be light cured. And I will tell you, I think my patients are getting deeper cavities these days after COVID. How do I get mm. down and cure those deep, deep boxes and then not have the shrinkage that causes all that sensitivity when they're biting on it? Do you have any suggestions? Yeah, you know, I think we can do something pretty cool from a, a light standpoint. I'll report back with the, the engineers and, and we'll get back to you with some ideas and some prototypes to test out here. All right, great. I'd appreciate that. Stri drive me crazy. Look at what just came in, the pink wave curing light from the, the team at Vista Apex. I think this is gonna be the solution to all my problems. Wow, look at that. Low profile, light, large lens, so I can cure an entire tooth, whether it be an anterior central or a molar. We've got four different wavelengths, so it will cure everything that I use in my office. Has translumination built in, so I can diagnose fractures in teeth and fine little layers of decay in approximately. Has different modes of curing, boost, standard, and ramp. And this sucker is nice to get way back into those second and third molars. This is a great design. Light, efficient, does everything I need it to do. And it cures down to 8.5 millimeters in depth, so it will get my deepest boxes. And it can reduce polymerization shrinkage up to about 26%, which means less sensitivity and better margins. Team at Vista Apex, you guys rock. Thank you.